Hello guys, Sam here at Kendall Automart on another lovely sunny day in paradise. I've got this gorgeous Audi Q5 to bring you today. It is a S-Line Plus model, so it's absolutely fantastic spec. It's got everything that you could possibly need. Now, this one's a 2012 registered car, so it's on a 62 plate, and it's got 81,020 miles. Now, it does sound like a lot, but it's below average for what you'd expect for a car of this age, which is fantastic. And this is the three litre TDI engine. Now, that delivers 242 brake horsepower. It's a turbo engine, which is ridiculous for a car this big. 0 to 60 in 6.5 seconds, which again is fantastic for a car of its size. Doesn't drag its feet at all. In fact, you'll beat most of the lights. Um, 140 top speed, that's uh, 140 miles per hour. I know you won't be able to do that many places, but um, it's there for you. Get yourself to Germany, you might just be able to test it out. Now, I know what you're thinking, it's probably gonna cost you a fortune to run. It actually isn't the case on this one. 169 grams per kilometer is the CO2 output which means £235 is all you'll pay for your annual road tax, which again, fantastic for a car this size. And in terms of miles per gallon, you get 44.1 on a combined run, which again, is more than enough. Um, S-Line Plus model, as I've mentioned, and it's got the 20 inch design alloy wheels on. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of a, a walk around the car for you. First of all, I'll start just at the front. Just take you right up to this little bit here. So as you can see there, it's the Quattro edition. And it's got that lovely Audi badge, the Audi grill there as well which looks fantastic as you can see from the outside of the headlights it's got an led strip running right around the outside that's the led running lights brand new tires on the front plenty of tread all across and as i say beautiful wheels there 20 inch and it's got the brand new tires on plenty of tread on all four moving around to the back absolutely gorgeous twin exhaust at the bottom there just press the boot so lazier viewers will love that. It's got the electric tailgate, huge boots as well for this car. And just under here is the first optional extra I'm gonna show you. So that's a spare wheel, but what you'll see there is a little couple of wires. That's for the subwoofer. So this has got an upgraded sound pack, which cost the original owner 600 pounds to put on there when it was new. You get that for absolutely nothing. Coming around to the back, gonna open the passenger door for you. As you can see, plenty of space across the back there. Leather seats, dead easy to clean, and it's got the Isofix across the back three. And as well, a little bit of class. You've got the fan controls in the back there, so your rear passengers will be nice and comfortable. Electric windows at the back as well. Electric windows throughout. Into the passenger side. As you can see, just down there, that's lumbar support for the, uh, for the passenger. Leather seats again and it's got the Quattro badge, S-Line badge on the seat there as well. It's the automatic gearbox, which is probably the best one. DSG, absolutely fantastic. And as you can see there, the Quattro detailing as well. So I'm just gonna move us round to the front of the car and into the driver's side. As you can see, it looks absolutely fantastic. Gorgeous car. jump into the driver's side for you as you can see there all electric windows and you've got boot release there as well for the electric tailgate locking buttons just on the side there there are the uh, the rev counters speedometers you've got the iMid computer in the middle which gives you every bit of information you could ask for your average miles per gallon how long you've got until you need to fuel up how long you've been on your journeys, all that sort of stuff. Just down here, the automatic headlight settings. As I say, it is another gorgeous day in paradise, so you can just see the sun shining in there. Buttons there, steering wheel. That's your volume control and also nav options as well. And it does give you the option to speak to the car. So you just see peering over the back of that. That's your flappy paddle to change gear because it is the automatic DSG. And you've got other buttons there. Just behind, that's your cruise control. Just coming down here, electric handbrake, which is fantastic. No need to be changing handbrake wires, it does it all for you. Just down here, you've got your navigation, so navigation built into the system. Telephone, media, radio. So radio is FM, AM, digital. The media is USB, auxiliary, Bluetooth, everything you can think of, basically. Just down here, you've got all your information for, you've, sorry, you've got all your buttons for the dual zone climate control, heated seat, hill descent. As I say, it's got everything. 
So just onto those optional extras, guys. It's got the pan roof, which I'll try and give you a bit of a show there. Pan roof, that's a little bit more light into the cockpit, which I think is fantastic. Got the upgraded sound system, which as you can, you can't really see from that one. Let's just see if you can get it there. It's the Bang and Olufsen upgraded sound system, as I've already shown you the subwoofer in the boot. It's got the black styling pack, which you can see from the outside of the car as well. And the heated seats with the optional extra on this one as well. It's a really gorgeous car. Whoever drives this one will snap it up. I have no doubt. It is gorgeous. So I've been Sam. Thank you very much for listening. Another gorgeous sunny day in paradise. And I'll see you later.